Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you care to watch, I think. The numbers could be wrong. I don't know. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the top five jib boards for 2022-2023. That's right. You want to go slide some steel, bonk off a family of fat skier kids, and just have a board that you're going to ride right into the ground. So let's dive into this list. Number five, the public snowboards, a general public. This cam rocker snowboard creates ideal press spots in the tip and the tail for locking in nose and tail presses. But when you go sideways, that camber profile through the center will hug it. It's not super stiff, but it's not super soft. It's just below the middle of the road, which makes it a versatile jib board because you're gonna be able to pop with it and hit every feature you want. Plus, it's Joe Sexton's company. He was raised in the streets. You know this board is gonna be solid for hitting street rails. Number four, the Marhar Invasion. They revamped the core in this board this year and it makes it a little more stable underfoot, but you still get these sweet spots in the tip and the tail from the flat to rocker profile in there. So you can really leverage a butter or a press on it. So it's a Michigan company, which if you've ever been to Michigan, you know, rope toes and small little hills with lots of terrain parks. So this thing was bred to go rip Cannonsburg. And with the way the shaping is on this board, the flex and everything, it's a solid butter board that doesn't just fold under your weight. There's a little bit of rigidity, so you get snap out of any press you put in, or you're gonna be able to get pop when you're trying to get onto a feature. Number three. Rome Artifact really needs no introduction. I love the fact that it's camber again, which means you've got to work for the press, but you do get that double kick tip in there. So when you're really leveraging into it, it's almost like you get a little added bonus where you can get way up on it. It does have a little bit of snap to it and a little bit of fight, but not enough that you're like, I've got to force and muscle this board to get what I want out of it. You're just gonna be able to get a consistent pop. It just feels like an old school jib board at this point with a unique tip shape. Number two, the K2 Geometric. Sure, there's the world piece and then there's the Geometric. I think the Geometric is just a hair better at pressing, which makes it a little more jibbable in my opinion. It's still a camber dominant. You're gonna get pop with it and it's really gonna cradle right around the feature. It's one of those boards that it's like, you can just go at any feature, destroy it, not feel bad about destroying it and move on. It's gonna be one of those decks that helps you progress with your jibbing and buttering. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. And believe me, this list was stacked when I started dialing it in. We got the Telos at it. I love the what Telos is doing with their boards. I love the way that they ride. This was on the top five list last year. Unfortunately, it slipped down to the honorable mentions just because different core constructions changes and some new people showed up on the market that I was like, hey, I wanna hype this a little bit more. Still a great board, super butterable, really big sweet spot in the tip and the tail. The Dinosaurs Will Die Rat. I love Dinosaurs Will Die. I love the rat. It's one of those jib boards that you know what you're gonna get. It's just consistent with everything that it does. You never have to worry about it. Dinos is a great brand that really does support like street style snowboarding. So I love seeing what their team guys do and their man-ams and their rats do, which this is the rats board and they call their man-ams the rats. And the Arbor Draft. It's been on this list before, kind of slid down. It's consistent, you know what you're gonna get with it, but there were just better ones on this list, like I've already said. These three super solid options, unfortunately, didn't crack the top five. And the number one jib board for 2022, 2023 should be no surprise, it's the Capita Scotty Stevens. Scotty is the king of the jib rats, in my opinion. You look at his style, what he does, the tricks that he can do, and then you look at this board and you know it's a culmination of everything he wanted to be able to do that. It's not the softest board, it's not the stiffest board, it's got snap where it counts, it's got huge sweet spots. For once, the graphic did come into play with for me thinking that it needed to stay on the number one slot for the top fives. This has been my top five jib boards for 2022, 2023. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one, are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below, let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, 
Remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and well, I've got to continue to be your host till that name change comes through, and I'll see you in another video.